A Salt Lake City father is accused of illegally possessing a handgun, which his young son brought to school. The incident happened back in April, but 29-year-old Timothy Taumua Jr. was charged today. The principal of North Star Elementary told police the fourth grader was showing the gun to friends at school. The boy told police he had found the gun on the side of his parents' bed. Court documents state Taumua was not allowed to own a gun because of a prior felony conviction. A warrant is out for his arrest. Metal detectors and security guards will soon stand at the entrances to four Salt Lake City high schools. I want to use every tool available to keep our staff and our schools safe. The Salt Lake City School Board approved the detectors back in January for Highland West and East High Schools, as well as Horizonte Instruction and Training Center. Then last night, the board voted five to two in favor of a $1.1 million contract to hire guards. Proponents say it will keep students safe, but critics argue the measures will not be effective and the guards presence could negatively impact students. There's no timeline for when the guards will be hired. Some teachers and parents fear how artificial intelligence could affect students' ability to learn. But as Fox 13 News reporter Jenna Bree shows us, one Utahn is proving AI can actually protect our children at school. School shootings hit close to home for Chad Green. My cousin's daughter was actually killed in the Newtown, Connecticut shooting. The Utah native um, and, had worked uh, so on defense a, technology for years. I worked for a company that built active protection systems for military, and we were protecting soldiers from rockets and missiles and things like that. And I just had this thought, why aren't we doing more to protect our kids? In 2017, Green quit his job to work full time on creating an AI gun detection system. In a demonstration, he shows how OmniLert can tell the difference between a cell phone and a handgun. Cameras are already placed in schools. They're very common and it's a great idea to have them, but nobody's looking at them. So all day, every day, the cameras are, are there watching what happens, but we only use them to go back in time and see if we can figure out what happened. He says artificial intelligence gives schools the opportunity to have eyes on potential threats 24-7. If OmniLert detects a gun, within seconds, pre-planned responses kick in, like locking doors and calling the police. With the AI enabled, we can take one security guard that previously maybe only could have watched four cameras, and now he can monitor a thousand. Green says it breaks his heart that his innovation was born out of numerous tragedies. It's unfortunate that this technology is needed. Um, obviously, I didn't come up with it as a product that I was excited to sell. It came out of necessity. Jenna joins us live in studio now. And Jenna, what can you tell us about how this technology is going to make its way into schools? Sure. So Governor Cox actually signed a bill into law in March of this year. It's called School Safety Requirements, and it does a few things, creating the school security task force, requiring public schools to do threat assessments and have a school safety specialist, and requiring the State Board of Education to contract with a vendor for firearm detection software like OmniAlert. Well, it sounds like it could possibly work in our schools. I'm imagining this is very expensive. So how accessible will it be to schools around the state with tight budgets already? Sure. Well, the bill does lay out that the Board of Education will have grants for school safety and security services and materials. Actually, $72 million has been allocated to the School Safety and Support Grant Program. The Board of Education says it will be competitive. Schools need to apply for the grant by September 15th. All right. Keep us updated. Jenna Bree, live in studio tonight. Thanks, Jenna.